What's up, YouTube? Top City 5401. I think today is like April 8th or 7th. I'm not even sure. I think it's Wednesday. Yeah, pretty sure it's Wednesday. Anyways, I'm gonna. I'm bored, which is okay, I guess. I mean, if the worst thing that is going on with me right now is I'm bored, I'll take it. But I'm doing this binder video. These are all Hall of Famers, position players, not pitchers and catchers, and no one that is in the 3,000 hit club or the 500 home run club. So basically, infielders and outfielders that didn't hit 500 homers or 3,000 hits. And I'm just going through this binder. I've been kind of working on my binders the last couple of days, give me something to do, get my mind off of stuff. And I just figured I'd make a video because why not? So we got some Vladimir Guerreros here. I know I've shown this binder off before, but it's been a while. Did add a bunch of players into it. And I think I took the catchers out at some point because it was getting too bulky. And that's why I'm doing this video, I guess. Well, for a variety of different reasons. Man, I didn't realize how many Vladdies I had in here. I'm thinking about doing a video, guys. Comment down below. But, like, with no traffic on the road, I've been kicking around the idea of driving a big loop through the Bay Area. So, basically, leave from my house and drive over the Golden or over the uh, Bay Bridge, drive through Oakland over the Bay Bridge, through San Francisco, and then over the Golden Gate Bridge and back home make a big giant loop out of it just to get me out of the house and I was thinking I'd go live and then maybe like five or ten years down the road you know I could look back and be like tripping on how there's like no traffic on the roads here we are with Kirby Puckett little Mark McGuire cameo on that 89 upper deck that's always a cool card and Go more Kirby's. So let me know. Comment down below if you think I should do that live video. Something my wife and I can do together, kind of get us out of the house and do something. We can't really go anywhere. We're not really allowed to go anywhere. I mean, we can go walking around the neighborhood, but can't really go anywhere to like go on a hike or anything. At least nowhere that I could think of. Maybe we could do some research and find somewhere to go hiking. But here we go. We got uh Uh, got some uh, Chippa Jones, third baseman, Hall of Fama, some Chipper Jones rookies there, among other things. Hopefully, this video is entertaining. I don't know. I got, I like I said, I'm just, I'm kind of starting to. I don't think I'm starting to lose my mind. I'm just like restless, I guess. I was thinking I might have a ghost in my house. I say that jokingly. And the reason why I say that is that I have this spare key that I take with me when I go on my neighborhood walks. And I keep losing it and then it keeps appearing. And I don't know how it got there. Like, one time I found it by my laundry basket. Another time I found it on my kitchen counter. I'm like, I, I did not put that key there. And w one of the days I was looking for it for like three or four days, I thought I might have left it in the front door. And someone came and swiped the key out of my front door. I was like worried, like, oh, crap, man. When I'm not home, someone's going to use that key to get into the house. But thankfully, I found it. Here we go with Barry Larkin. Just past Ozzy Smith. So I got, I got some decent inserts in this binder, which makes it fun. I tend to put, like, fun inserts and sometimes beat-up vintage, rookie cards, base cards, whatever I can get a hold of for these players in this category. There is one player from my childhood that I'm missing. Actually, two players that I don't even have. Well, one of them wouldn't be represented in this binder. He's a catcher, Ted Simmons. I don't have any Ted Simmons cards in my collection. 
The reason why I never heard of him until he got inducted, or, or actually about three years ago, the first time he was on the era committee ballot was the first time I had ever heard of him. I was like completely floored that there was a guy that played baseball during my childhood when I was, I mean, I knew all the players, but I had never heard of Ted Simmons. And then the other player that's not represented in this binder from my childhood is Harold Baines. I just don't, I never had any Harold Baines in my, um, you know, like retired stars binder. <laughs> I remember when he made the Hall of Fame, I was like, oh, let me pull up my Harold Baines and put him in my Hall of Fame binder. There we go with Ryan Sandberg. Now we got the newest inductee, Larry Walker. And I didn't have any Harold Baines. And you know what? I wasn't surprised at all, actually. Because I never even thought of him as a star. I just thought of him as a guy that played forever and was always a good ball player, but never like, never a notable ball player as far as like any specific season or anything. You know, if an all star from time to time and played for a long time. Got Willie Stargell there. Pops, Willie Stargell. Uh, who we got? Bagwell, one of the first PED users to get in the Hall of Fame. And let's see. So we got some Bagwellage. Tim Rock Reigns in the house. Love that uh, 81 Donruss card. That card is just so cool. Ah, yes, it's a little things in life. Uh, Andre the Hawk Dawson, awesome Dawson, is what I used to call him. Orlando Cepeda, got a couple of vintage ones in there. At least that one was a vintage. <clears throat> some rookie reprints. Oh, got some Ron Santowich on the bottom. Lou Gehrig, and then Lou Gehrig and Joe DiMaggio on that page. More Joey D in the house. So there are quite a few position players in the Hall of Fame that did not get 3,000 hits or 500 home runs. We got Jackie Robinson. Love that guy. And then who else in here? The great Monty Irvin. Hmm. And love those old short prints. It's a rookie reprint right there. Cool cards. More Monty Irvin. I need to pick up more Pee Wee Reese. <laughs> I only got one of him on that bottom row there. And then we got Joe Morgan. Of course, Joe Morgan is one of the guys that played for both the A's and the Giants. There's a, a lot of players out there that played for both the A's and the Giants. Joe Morgan is one of the Hall of Famers that played for both the A's and Giants. It's that Jim Rice. We got Johnny Mize. George Sisler and Bill Mazeroski. That one's from my ch dad's childhood, that Mazeroski there, that 59. We got Hank Greenberg. Luis Aparicio and Alan Trammell. Edgar Martinez and Richie Ashburn. Kind of like mixing players up. If I don't have a full page of them, I'll put as many players as I can on a page. The Human Vacuum, Brooks Robinson. Who do we have here? We got Duke Snyder. Rogers Hornsby. So not everybody that's in the Hall of Fame that fits this category is in this binder. I just recently had these two George Kell cards. I had a beat up 58 and I found that one lying around. So that was kind of cool. The, the, it, guys, I'm telling you, it's the little things that make me happy for some reason. Then we got Larry Doby and Ralph Kiner. So that pretty much wraps it up for the players represented in this binder. I know there's a lot more that fit this category. So maybe I'll do a project on COMC or something at some point and pick up a bunch of inexpensive cards to add to the binder of players that are not represented. 
I always like to have a little bit of representation from as many guys as I can. So that's it for now, guys. Thanks for tuning in. And as always, happy collecting.